Good morning. Happy Monday, everyone. I am here to do our Facebook Live Training 101, and I'm just going to get right to it. I'm so glad you're in this group. I'm excited to teach you what I know, and I'm really, really jazzed to see your first Facebook Live for some of you. Now, I'm just going to turn up my volume here. I don't know if that's helpful, but we'll see. Okay, so first things first, um, and you can watch me say all this or you can just get a piece of paper and a pen and keep doodling away with what you're doing or answering emails or whatever you got to get done. The first thing I have here is lighting. Now lighting is super important because you want to make sure that you're, you can see yourself basically. Um, now you can see here that there is some backlight, which is sometimes what you'll see a lot in videos is the person is very much backlit and then their face isn't really light. So I'm having an issue because I have this top light, which is horrible and not working at all for me in this office. And I really need to work on actually the lighting in here particularly. And I don't have a light like this size that I can point at my face. I have to get a new bulb for it. But basically what you want to do is make sure that you have a light on you as well. So um, I just don't have one of those in my house right now. So I was unable to do that this morning. But make sure that if you do have some light behind you, fine. But make sure that the light in front of you is brighter than the light behind you. Or use the light behind you to, um, let's just see what that looks like so you can see here. So here I am using the bad window light. Hold on a second. Mm. Okay, well, there, sort of. So you can just see with playing with lighting, like this would be not a good idea. Uh, this definitely not. So here I'm totally backlit. And uh, here I am trying to use this front light as a, as a bigger light than my outside light. So just that's the tip there. Make sure that you have light on you and you use the backlight not as, um, sorry, I'm just going to sit back down, um, as the main light. Okay, great, great, great. So next is to look at the lens. Hi, beautiful. So what I see a lot of times is people will be doing their Facebook Lives and they'll be staring at themselves. And I'm just going to do that now while I say the next little bit. So you have to know that when you're looking at yourself, you're obviously not making eye contact with the person on the other side of the lens. So I suggest as much as possible that you check that person out. So they are just on that other little side of that tiny little circle in the black abyss, and that is who you want to speak with. So as you can see your face you know, in your peripheral, but make sure to uh, really stay focused on who it is that you'd like to be talking to. So that's my tip there. Um, also, when you start Facebook Live and end Facebook Live, make sure to do that with a smile or something that is sort of animated. So what they'll do is they'll pick a thumbnail, and usually it's from the first couple seconds when you first start your Facebook Live. Or and Yeah, I've noticed that's when it is. So I just suggest like, kind of holding a smile or greeting people that way the thumbnail doesn't look like or or you know like this kind of thing so um that's my tip there and don't worry about your pants okay a lot of us feel like we have to look uh, a certain way when we get on here and do this sorry i'm kind of dark i i uh, really need to get another light i'm not taking my own training am i um, because no one's going to see your pants. So I'm wearing my sweats from this morning, but I put on a shirt. So there you go. You don't even have to get dressed up for these things, people. You can just wear whatever on the bottom. Party on the bottom and uh, professional on the top. I also only do, I mean, this is me, uh, like some mascara, a little bit of under eye um um, foundation and then some lipstick that's kind of and my eyebrows um, that's kind of my my jam for makeup anyways so if I was to go over the top or do more than that it just I don't know just wouldn't seem natural and I, I want to seem natural because I am um, and then <laughs> this one's really important is like have fun with it peeps have some fun with it like it's just you, okay? And like, I'm going to meet you whether we go for coffee or not. I see you. You are a person. You can't hide from who you are, what you look like, whether you're 20 pounds overweight or not. I mean, it's just like, who cares? At the end of the day, if you have something to share and you'd really love to 
potentially just create interest in what you're saying or doing or you're curious to know what people think about what you think I mean I just think just have some fun with it just lighten up just 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 go for it so um, in saying that though I do love when Facebook lives are shorter sometimes I'll see them at the 30 minute mark which is fine I suppose if you're like interviewing somebody but um, at the end of the day you know we're all pressed for time and um, most likely if I know it's longer like that I'll probably have it running in one of my windows but I'm already often doing other things um, on the internet I just think when it's shorter and I see that it's only like three minutes or two minutes, I'll probably engage the whole time through it. So if you can keep it to the two or three minute mark, you're laughing. Okay, so the things that Facebook Live are really great for, okay, so think about it this way. If you're not thinking about how you could potentially impact someone else, how it will impact you is you'll become a better speaker. Absolutely, hands down, think of this. This is like real practice on how to get your message across without saying ums and ahs and likes. I mean, you're gonna start hearing yourself talk and you can re-watch it over and you can see sort of some patterns you might have in your speaking. So it's great practice for that. It's also awesome for conversations. So I like to decide before I go live if it's going to be a conversational Facebook Live or if it's just going to be uh, me talking because I find that it gets really distracting when someone's like hey so-and-so and hi yeah dad blah 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 like while they're in the middle of teaching something or talking about something so I think you decide beforehand um, whether it's going to be a conversation with some with your audience or if you're just going to relay a message but it is great for conversations if you do choose to go that route Connecting, it's great to connect with your people. I mean, they're out there, they're, they're there. I mean, uh, Facebook does love to put our lives up in their feeds, so they're watching, they're seeing you. It's kind of cool for them too, to um, just see what's going on in your world. And um, it also helps people come into your world for, for maybe some new, new folk. And then the last and most important thing that Facebook Live is so great for is your own confidence because if you can do this and just go live and share a message and not freak out about it and feel okay about it you've really just done something magnificent for yourself because it just will get easier and easier every single time you do it and um, it'll just feel so good that you actually got yourself over this freaking nerve hump right that nerve hump I have it too sometimes when I really don't know what I know I want to say something and I haven't really practiced how I'm gonna say it and I go ahead and I press that live button and then I don't know you're just committed you're just going for it and there's something very um <laughs> when I try to come up with words on the spot sometimes they don't come to me especially in the morning and have a sip of coffee it's very um invigorating and lightning and uh empowering empowering to be able to just roll with it okay so Facebook live content here are um, some things that you could be Facebook living about thing number one is a nugget or a thought that you have so a cool little nugget is uh, I don't know if those happen to you they I'm sure they do where you'll be walking and you'll have this thought and you'll be like oh man I'd love to share that and this is kind of cool the way I'm thinking about it and maybe you write it down and you want to share that Facebook live I think that's awesome so it's a little nugget a little aha or a little thought you might have on something this can also be conversational, so if you um, want to go back and forth with the parties on the other side, then say that straight up, you know, even open your Facebook Live with, I have a question, you know, I'm really wanting to hear what everyone thinks about this, and, and go ahead and propose your idea or your thought. Um, the second one is behind the scenes into your business or life. So if you are a photographer or you're a leader of some sort or you're a speaker or something's happening you're in a really cool area or you're working um, and you're able to share that with us I think that is super cool I think um, potential clients and even people that are in your world would think that's really neat to see what your day-to-day -day looks like or what you might be doing um, I've done that before when I uh, you know was at um, Tracy Cakes for her long table dinner and there was like 24 women there and this beautiful little um, orchestra of kids and I just kind of came on and said hey and showed everybody the table settings and what I was doing and everything that was happening 
and it was really good. People were responding and saying, oh my God, it looks beautiful there. I can't wait to come next time and like, let me know and da da da. And it, it got a lot of um, interest in comments and stuff. So that was really, really good. I put cinnamon in my coffee. So um, <laughs> I'm kind of joking on it a little right now. Hold on. Mm -mm. Okay, third thing, training. So if you have something that you want to share like this with your audience, then go ahead, do that with Facebook Live. I think that's awesome. I don't know how I'm gonna use this in the future, but what I'm thinking is I could actually run potentially an evergreen webinar or something with this content or create a PDF or something with this. So just try it out. If you have something that you wanna give you know, some tips about or um, some training on, make sure to try that on Facebook Live and then see how else you can work it into your business. And the last one I have here is interview. So if there's somebody that would love to come on your Facebook Live show or you are somewhere and you're like totally taken by this person and you're like, hey, can we go live and let's do a quick little interview? I think those are really cool, um, sharing people uh, on, on live. And so there's uh, two other ways you can do that if you wanted to not be next to them, which is through belive.tv, where you can uh, do that across, uh, well, anywhere, they could be anywhere, you can interview them live. Or obviously Zoom, if you haven't yet used that, it's a great tool. So those are the things you could start trying out. And um, some points I'd just like to make in regards to just recouping what I've, uh, recouping, <laughs> re, re saying what I've said. <laughs> is, um, they would be, uh, before you press uh, the go live button and it goes three, two, one, make, just make sure you're ready to go. So like, you know, your set deck's done. This is just the way it's gonna look. You're cool with it, you're smiling. That's tip number two, my other point and that you decide whether you're going to choose uh, question and answers throughout the conversation or if you're just going to relay your message. I think those are really great points to make up front. And now, keeping it to my whatever mark I'm at, I don't know what time it is, but um, it's now up to you to try your first Facebook Live in here. And I'm really excited to see you go live and um, I will keep my eye out, and if I'm on the interwebs, I will come on and, and comment and say maybe some things that I'm thinking or seeing or some training tricks or something that you could be doing to make it extra uber awesome. And um, give it a go, see what you feel more comfortable with. I mean, you do not have to do these, obviously, but if you're curious and wanna give it a go, I mean, there's nothing wrong with trying it out and seeing if it's a good way of communication for you. Um, you know, I like writing, but not as much as I like video. So I just have to stick with what works for me, and this might be a really great tool for you. I also find when I'm in my car is when I have my most inspiration. So that's kind of where I've been doing my Facebook Lives as well. So that's something to think about. Maybe you um, feel really inspired in a certain space and place, and then every time you're there, maybe go ahead and just give it a go. So I'm excited. Dara's always very excited, but I am about this. Um, I'll try and come on some tips tonight. I think I've told you everything. My notes are all been relayed to you. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just say this is your Facebook 101 training. I am here, I am your coach. I am willing and ready to help you along your Facebook Live journey. If you have any other questions, uh, make sure to just post them here. Uh, we'll have this conversation together and uh, yeah, show me your first Facebook Live. And when you do, I mean, go ahead and start it with, you know, um, I'm giving this a go. This is my like third one or my first one. Um, and then really like, do a proper one, like say, you know, what you're wanting to say in it. So not just coming on and um, showing me, I mean, if you want to show me behind the scenes or you want to teach me something or you want to um, interview someone, anything like that, but do it for real so that you can watch it back and see how awesome you are and own that shit, right? Okay, so that's it for me. Um, I hope everyone has an awesome day and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.